Hi guys, Bleach here. Welcome to the 1970s, back when the music was good and actually sounded normal. I'm not all about that bass. I'm all about the lawnmowers. Today we're gonna, uh, I don't know what we're gonna do. We're gonna do something. We're gonna try to see if this tire right there, it's on the simplicity that came off a Craftsman mower that was scrapped. Could go be the left tire on this snapper because it's completely bald and it doesn't hold air. And if it works on there, then the turning radius is okay. We're gonna, this tire doesn't hold very good air either. I'm gonna have a mechanic down the road with this tube in it. You can see the tube, it's a tube, you know what they look like. And that'll be the tire for the left. Um, this tire right here is completely bald, currently holds air. We're just going to use it temporarily to test it when we drive it. Uh, back tires are like a rolling stone. This one holds air. And uh, this one on the back is probably going to get a tube. That's all you'll be seeing in this segment of the video. I can't breathe. I just went outside and filled up the tires with air. I'm having an asthma attack. And it's 20 some odd degrees out here, guys. So, this is going to be a compilation series of uh, restoring this mower back to semi-new. This video may be an hour or two. We don't know. I'll try to keep it under an hour. So, see you soon, guys. Bye. Alright guys, we're back. I forgot to add, it's Saturday, the March uh, 21st when I'm doing this. So I'll be probably working on this way in the April. Yes, I got a pink watch. See you soon, guys. Guys, we're back. The original Simplicity tire's back on there. Original idea was I was hoping I could use the Craftsman tire in place of the Simplicity tire, but... It doesn't get enough clearance with the, uh, whatchamacallit there. So next we're going to take this bald tire off. Really nice getting stuff on Craigslist. Guy says there's tubes in the tires. There's no tubes in these tires, but I can't complain. It runs. It's a runner, so I'm happy. Ah, uh, I just got, you see that? I'm hoping... It's just leaking out right there. But, I don't know. I'm worried that I could have uh, a head gasket leak. Or an oil sump gasket leak. I tried to find one on eBay, but I can't find one. So, we'll go down that road when we're ready. So, maybe just wipe that off when I test it. And I'll see how it goes. So, right now we're going to get this tire off bald like the back of my head you've seen in these videos guys I turned the music off as I worry about copyrights but maybe you'll see some rocking tunes on and off in this so we're gonna get this tire off now well guys my uh, camera's covered in grease I'm not happy oh greasy it does have a bearing in there it does it looks like he wobbled out the rim and you put a bearing in there. The one on the left does not have a bearing. And it just fell. It fell off my leg. I'm happy. But. I think the uh, rim is walled out. And there's a bearing in there. So. Uh, let's see what we got here. It looks about the same size as the Craftsman. Ah, it should work. And we'll put a tube in this. And we'll go from there. So, it's March 21st, so I probably won't get the tube in it until uh, the snow lets up and melts. I might, uh, shit, sorry guys, sorry sore. I might, uh, replace the uh, pin there. But yeah, what do they call them, the R keys or the cotter pins? It's probably be worth it to do, get some at trash supply. I think this tire will work. Doesn't have a grease fitting like the other one. 
which is, which is just fine, because you can just, uh, when you do it, you can put grease on the bearings and stuff. Or not the bearings, but the uh, axle shaft. So I'll do that soon before I put it on there. I got a grease gun. Um, I don't know, I think this concludes this segment of the video. What I really like is it's got a, a nice, uh, it's a convertible mower for some reason. All mowers are convertibles, so they don't have tops. It means recycler or something, I don't know. I don't know if I said this already, the uh, the belts for the deck is kind of loose, so that's normal when you lower the deck. And the uh, belt is tight for the uh, for the hydro. So hopefully, hopefully the hydro is good. If not, this thing's just an engine. I'm taking the wiring and the engine off, and i got to make a list to see where all the wiring goes. And I might mount this engine on a rear engine snapper someday, because you know how crazy I am for those snappers. <laughs> So, I guess this is it for this segment. Bleach here. Put the original Simplicity tire back on the Simplicity tractor. Um, this tire, the, the uh, hole for the rim does not fit the axle. So what I've been doing over here is trying to get this bearing out. It does have a bearing. This one doesn't, oddly enough. Maybe it does. Let's look at it really quick. Pull it off there. Yeah. It has a different kind of bearing. One that uh, goes inside there. I don't know why that doesn't fit. It looks like about the same size. Let's compare it really quick, guys. Nope. It's definitely... I can see it. It's definitely a uh, different size. So this tire will uh, get this tube. And I'll show you guys. I'm going to keep this short as possible. This will be a long video. This tire will come over here on this rim. And uh, get a tube. I'll have the, the mechanic break it up. I got this bearing out. It does have a bearing, oddly enough. It really does. So I'm going to look at the tractor supply see if I can get one of these. Probably next month, which will be April, I think. March, April, yep. Learned my months and when I was in fifth grade, yeah. See you soon, guys. Hold on for more. Oh, yeah. Rock and tunes are back, guys. Alright, guys, it's April 7th, 2015. See? Back to working on this thing. It's got a Walmart battery. It's a Walmart for uh, 20 bucks with $6 core charge with tax. So it's pretty good. 230 cranking amps are going to try this. Um, I got the bearing in the tire, which you'll see in a minute. And it does not want to go on the spindle. So I'm hoping I don't need a new spindle. I'm hoping I can take some sandpaper and sand off the burrs to make it fit. The spindle could be a bit messed up because uh, he used the bearing when it was wallowed out. So let's see how it goes, guys. Let's see how it goes. Battery expires 315. Cranks over just as good, hopefully. Let's see if we can get the spindle going and the tire on there. Hi, guys. We're back. It's all right now. Tire's on there. It turns. We need to turn even more if it was binding on the ground. Hold on, I'll show you what I did if I can get it off here. Uh, uh. Hold on a minute, guys. First, guys, I took sandpaper and uh, wiped the burrs off the uh, the shaft, the steering shaft. I was advised by Doc Sprocket to do this. Go check him out on uh, Southern Off Road Mowers. He's very helpful. And I also. Uh, Took pieces of sandpaper and sanded out the bearing just like this. I'm going to zoom out. Just like that to make the uh, diameter bigger. <laughs> Never pound in your uh, bearing with a socket wrench when you can't find your hammer. It, it exploded everywhere. Oh yeah, guys. So this includes this section of the video. 
Um, next section, I'm going to take, I'll uh, have the tire mounted for the mechanic, and uh, from the mechanic, a new tire with tube, and um, I'm going to leave this one for now. It's pretty bald, but it does hold air. I will change it. And um, next, you'll see me install a seat once I get one. So it's all right now, guys. I think it's all going to work. Hold on for more. Could be a week or two later. This is the sandpaper I use, guys. Great Pete. It's like wood sandpaper from the dollar store. Oh, yeah, guys. I love me some kiss. I'm gonna rock out the kiss. And I'll see you soon, guys. Hold on for more. Hey, guys. Blade here with a continuation of this video series. It's Saturday, April 18th. Shorts and t shirt while they're just about. The tire's back from the mechanic. Looks like he did a really good job. It's got a small uh, valve stem in the tube, and it's metal, which is good. Uh, See, so I hope I don't ground the battery. Uh, I can't really see it, but there's the seat. Sorry, it's got armrests on it. And um, it's kind of heavy. I would show you more of it, but you'll see it once on the tractor. And um, these bolts, that bolt right there, is kind of stuck. I'll have to maybe cut it off or pound it off. And it had these little black grip things that twist off and off. And I have to take my uh grinder and ground those off and uh, take this hammer and uh, pound the, the back of this right off. The seat's a little rusty. It may need to be painted, but I'm thinking I'm just going to leave it. Um, my grinder, it's got that sticking out of there. That, whatever that is. I think it's like a bushing or something. So my grinder might be going. So let's see what we can do, guys. I'm going to put Set this up on a tripod, see how it goes. Probably should be using my workbench, but it's cluttered. And um, this is a better. I usually just fork it off the tractors. I would put the tire on there, but I lost the washer, the spacer that goes on the spindle, so I gotta get one something similar washer at a trash supply. This is ready to go. Look at this, almost. Woo! There you go, guys. Soon, soon, soon. This back tire don't hold air. And uh, the front the neighbor gave me uh, holds air. Amazingly. Interesting. It went soft a little while ago. Now it's trying to hold an air. Cool. See you soon, guys. Alright, guys. Let's see if I can get this just right where I want it. There you can see me. I'm going to leave this right for now, and of course I grabbed uh, two left clubs. We're doing things backwards here. See how this goes. I don't like doing this generally. Well, it should wear eye protection, but I don't know.
I'm gonna stop it here, guys. It's scaring the crap out of me doing this, really. Alright, guys, I'm gonna try and hammer it off there. The bracket that holds this bolt and is stuck. It's a little rough what I did. Oh, yeah. Shiny, shiny, shiny. Oh, shiny. That's somewhere. It's out of the way. Sharps. Want anything sharp going in my tires out here, guys? Just help bear with me. Long video. Hope I don't hurt the battery. And there it goes. And all that shit just went to the battery. Ah, oh, god darn it. I don't want to say the GD word. Oh, maybe not. Oh, it did. It did. Oh, my garage is cramped. We're going to put this. I'm going to shut it off now, guys. Well, guys, I wish I picked out a better seat. It's got a huge rust hole in the back of it now when I pounded it off. I just hope this is stable enough with the rust to mount something on it. I don't know, guys. I'm going to try and drill it now. All right, guys, this is the end of this segment. Just want to show you if you can see that. But it lines up right there, and it lines up right over there. So I don't have to do any drilling. I'm just going to mount it to two holes. Hopefully, the seat is not... Give away. It's a nice seat. I probably should paint it or get the rust out of it, but I don't know. A little rust holes in it, man. Hopefully, the, whoever gets it will keep a garage kept. I like the rust, it adds character to it, but it should work out since I can just mount one there, one there. I'm not going to drill a, uh, a third hole, just mount it with two, because I don't want to drill into the, into the seat. It might uh, break more. Well, I guess that's it. See how it goes, guys. I gotta get some bolts. And I gotta mount the seat and put a tire on there. And I should be able to drive it soon, hopefully. See you soon. Hi, guys. Bleach up. Bleach. I decided to wheel it outside. See if it moves. It does not move. Either the hydro's bad or it needs a belt. I was hoping I could drive it today, guys. I also gonna have to live outside because I don't want to push it back in. My mother's gonna kill me more junk out here. The hydro might be bad. But listen to this engine though. Good engine that could go on a future project someday, guys. I don't know. Seat's on it though, guys. Seat's a little rusted out. It might break right off. I don't know. Maybe the uh, the, uh, the uh, safety switch has to be on there in order for the move. I don't know. Oh my god, I better not leave it in gear. Okay. So maybe that safety switch needs to be hooked up. Or I can mow with it, so I'll try that.